नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू दी ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग ऑन मूडल फॉर टीचर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट रिसोर्स प्लानिंग फॉर एनी एक्टिविटी वी नीड टू डू प्लानिंग इफ वी प्लान द एक्टिविटी वेरी वेल इन एडवांस देन वी कैन डू दैट एक्टिविटी ईजीली विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम्स so we will see what type of planning is required to design an online course so here we are will be talking about resource planning now what is a resource now resource is any thing that you want to share with the learner so while delivering a course you may share a video with the learner you may share some reading material you may uh, want to take the test of the learner to check the performance students to evaluate so after how many days you are going to evaluate whether you want to evaluate after each video or you want to evaluate weekly so you need to plan all these things prior in advance so for this we make use of a resource planning template now this is the template that will help you plan your resources now in this template so this is all the general information that we can provide so what is the course name what is your target learning profile so i designed a course on providing the information the hands on on using the facebook how to use facebook as teaching learning tool so before you deliver a course online we need to decide what are the modules that you want to deliver so say for example if you have a 3 unit course or 3 unit subject how you are going to split these three units into various modules and on which topics you are going to talk on which topics you are going to provide the learning material to the students when you would like to conduct the test for their evaluation so you can design or you can plan all this in advance so this is how this is being done so what is the duration of teaching and learning so what you are going to provide and what the learner is going to do this includes both so you need to divide your entire course into different modules so this is how we do it and for every module you will have some learning outcome so as in here i am introducing the facebook then we are creating a facebook page and a group and what all i am going to do in this so how to create a facebook page creating groups and post learning material and finally in the at the end of the module 2 i am going to assess the learners so maybe via discussions comments quizzes and so on now this is an overview of your course the modules and sub modules then we will go into the details of each of this now in the details this is what we are going to use so here what are the what is the module and what is the learning outcome that is being satisfied so you can ignore this column learning outcome column so you can provide the resource number now for example introduction to facebook i want to share a video now what is the nature of the resource so in the nature of the resource we can share different uh, resources like slides videos you can also share podcast you can share e content module uh, maybe uh, from some other course you can have a web article that is a web page you can share a blog you can have a discussion forum you can give some activity on the online collaboration tools like padlet google drive or many more there are many resources that can be shared with the learners so here in this example 
so uh, for introduction to facebook i am sharing a video so nature of resource is a video in case if you are sharing a web page or web article or a web page you can write your web page or a web article then what is the source of the uh, resource now here when we say video video can be of two type one that is already available on the internet uh now for while teaching you come across some good videos for some specific topics so you can share those videos as a learning resource so here you can provide the link of the video so that later when you are uh, delivering the course on the learning management system you don't have to search the video again and again so you can see what is the topic if you already have some good videos available on to that topic so you can provide the url so that later on you can simply copy this url into your learning management system so whether uh, it needs any it is a oer or you need to modify this this video or the article that you are sharing so in case it is a, a web article or a blog so are you going to share the blog as it is or you are going to modify so oer stands for open educational resources so whether it is a open educational resource or you are going to modify it so that is what we are providing here and what is the duration needed for the learners to to go through this content so approximately whatever uh, you can uh, you estimate about that uh, particular module or a sub module you can provide the duration and if you have any other uh, any other point that you need to remember while designing a course on learning management system you can specify those things here so this is how we need to plan the resource so now here uh, in this uh, module 1 i am using the ready made videos whereas in module 2 i am creating a video by myself so instructor developed so this is what you need to write now these uh, this chart gives you an idea and uh, makes it very clear what you are going to do and uh, what are you going to provide as the resource for the learners so this becomes easy later on while actually making the course on some learning management system so this is all about resource planning see you in the next video thank you